Welcome back data enthusiasts, this is Roshan Sirek Matthew and this video series is all about answering some of the most asked data science interview questions. Now if you want to check out different data science interview questions, make sure to check out the entire playlist. I'll add a link in the description down below, you can simply click the power card at the top. Before moving forward, if you are new to the ANDS channel and like my content, please do leave a like and smash the subscribe button and turn on bell notification to stay updated for more interesting content. Stay tuned. Now on to the topic for this video. In this video, we will try and understand regularization in machine learning and why it is important. We will also compare the popular regularization methods L1 and L2 regularization. So what is regularization? Imagine you are learning to drive a car. Without supervision, you might be really good at driving one specific type of car but struggle when you switch to a different model. In machine learning, models can also become too specialized, making them perform poorly on new and unseen data. That is where regularization comes in. Regularization is a technique used in machine learning and statistical modeling to prevent models from becoming too complex or overfitting the training data. Overfitting occurs when a model fits the training data extremely well but struggles to generalize the new and unseen data. Regularization aims at striking a balance between finding the training data and generalizing to the new data. It does so by adding a penalty term to the model's cost function, encouraging the model to have smaller or more balanced coefficient. There are two common types of regularization techniques, L1 regularization, also known as lasso regularization, and L2 regularization, known as RIDGE. L1 regularization adds penalty term to the model's cost function that is proportional to the absolute value of the model's coefficients. L1 regularization is often used when you have a high dimensional dataset with many features and you suspect that only a small subset of those features is relevant for making predictions. For example, in text analytics, it can help identify the most important words for classification tasks. L2 regularization adds a penalty term for the model's cost function that is proportional to the square of the model's coefficients. L2 regularization is often used when you believe that all the features in your dataset are relevant, but you want to prevent the model from becoming too sensitive to the noise in the data. It's also effective when you want to avoid multicollinearity or high correlation between the features in linear regression. So now the question becomes L1 or L2 regression. Which techniques should you use? Well, this depends on your specific problem and the characteristics of your data. Use L1 or lasso regression when you suspect that some features are irrelevant and you want a feature selection or more simpler, more interpretable model. Use L2 or RIS regression when you believe that all the features are relevant and you want a model that is more balanced and less sensitive to outliers. In practice, you can also use a combination of both L1 and L2 regularization known as elastic net regularization to benefit from both feature selection and coefficient balancing. So, to put things in a nutshell, regularization is your trusty tool to prevent overfitting and build models that generalize well. Whether you choose L1 or L2 depends on your problem and whether you want simplicity or balanced contributions from the features. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing content. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media handles to stay updated for more interesting updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.